Hey guys, it's Nicola. So this is your intro for September the 1st through the 15th. I will be bringing, well, I am bringing back the pay per minute special. It is $1 per minute video or phone read. There is no limitations and all readings are first come first serve. Meaning when you pay for your read, I call you or contact you. Make sure you have your contact information guys. I need to be able to get in contact with you. Please leave your phone number, your email, some way that I can contact you so that we can get started with your read because this is first come first serve so when you pay you get your read i don't care if it's three dollars i don't care if it's a hundred dollars other than that that's all i got all of my booking information it is in the description if you guys need to get in contact with me you can always hit me up on my email intimate wisdom tarot at gmail at gmail.com this special will not be on my website you have to come to me directly so please email me at intimate wisdom tarot at gmail.com all the information is in the description guys Thank you so much for all of my new subscribers. Y'all do not understand how happy I be up, be up here twerking and everything. Like, I love y'all. Y'all mean so much to me, and y'all keep me on my toes. I just absolutely love y'all. But other than that, that's all I got for all of my returning subscribers. Hey, how y'all doing? Let's get it started with these readings, y'all. All right, y'all. The sun is really, really glaring on me right now. It is early in the morning. It's just rising, and it usually rises through by one day. Beautiful. Um, lighting is cute, but uh, a little shiny. Y'all gonna see this glow today, so let's get it. This is for my air signs. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. August 30th, 2018. What messages do we have for my air signs? Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. August 30th, 2018. Messages for my air signs. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Gemini, August 30th, 2018. Hmm. Let's see why. are insecure right now there's some resistance um, some fears there's a lot of fears a lot of um, thoughts running through your head let me see if I can bring this up y'all there we go hey it was so dark the Sun was making it do weird stuff um, <laughs> you took a break from a situation because you needed balance let me give these a good shuffle. You needed some balance. So now you're, you're kind of trying to do what you know is right. You may be getting out of something that didn't feel right. Seeing clearly what it is that's stable for you, what it is that you want. A lot of this meditation going within, I see happening. But why is this four source here? This is your energy, your first card out. Meaning either you've taken a break, you're relaxing, waiting, having patience. So you may be just having patience, taking a break and nurturing yourself right now, really concentrating on you. Something has changed within a situation. Something may have been imbalanced. So now you want balance. You want something that's balanced for you. You're looking at this from your perspective. You're looking at what's right for you within the situation. And whatever is right for you, you've come to this conclusion through meditation. You've come through to this conclusion through going within. Um, you are resistant toward moving to something, but I do see some sort of movement. There's The resistance is in your fears. You're, you're very much in your head when it comes to doing what you feel is right for yourself. Why is this third pinnacle here? says the king of pentacles so this is you wanting to build something wanting to work with something king of pentacles your card could have walked away from a Taurus, capricorn virgo possibly a capricorn two of cups um getting into a new situation wanting to build a new foundation there is resistance there is fear so there's a new foundation that you're wanting to build but there's some fear surrounding it um you got to release these fears tire streak and my kid is up there somebody on the bus stop y'all the mother in me is about to jump out ah, what's going on with my baby okay but someone either in the past has been in some type of partnership 
and ended that world card um end of codependencies end of um negative situations there may have been something that you were working on or working toward that ended because it was um either you weren't cooperating there may have been some another cycle that you wanted to be a part of another love world card uh swift cups um could have been another opportunity for you to build. Very quickly, someone left a situation. So if you were in a situation and you left, this was very sudden or someone left you suddenly. Um, they were probably detached from the relationship, more focused on money, and there may have been another cycle that was more fit for them. Okay, so why is the Justice card here? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Why is the Justice card here? Eight of Cups, doing what you know is right, walking away from a situation. Three of Swords here, Justice card again. Doing what you know is right, Ten of Wands, releasing burdens. Four of Pentacles, you've been holding on to something. So whatever this was, this was long standing. I think you doing what you know is right is what causes the burden and causes some of the insecurities in moving forward. Um, because a situation has been severed, meaning... Either you severed a connection with someone because you knew that it was the right thing to do based on whatever you were feeling. With the Eight of Cups, you probably set your sets higher emotionally, um, mentally, spiritually, and you are doing what is right for you. Releasing whatever burdens that you have and dealing with whatever heartache you have so that you can move forward. Now, the heartache could also be a burden, especially if you're going through a divorce. Um, this can be you kind of releasing whatever attachments you have to this situation, understanding that things will get better um and just moving forward so let's see got the magician this is part of manifestation it's part of your manifestation you may be going back to um someone or this can be leading to some sort of celebration i got the page of cups spirit cups so you could be going back to a third party situation why it popped up under here i was trying not to say it because all of my reads have been popping up third party situations um but i can't help it pop up all right, so we got the 10. These two popped out together. Ten of Pentacles, sign card. So either you see clearly where your stability lies, you see clearly what brings you stability, or you want someone wants closure on a relationship. So why is the sign card? Why is the sign card in the Ten of Pentacles here? Ten of Cups, you see where your balance lies. Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles again. Ooh, Queen of Swords. So someone could have told you they want clarity on a relationship, on a rather confusing relationship, clarity on where you stand. Um, there's still a lot of confusion. Mm. There's still a lot of confusion, but the outcome is someone releasing some fears and moving forward. So either this is, got Queen of Swords, Lover's card. This is someone being decisive about the situation or decisive about... Um, Someone feels like they're happy in another situation. They just want to be happy. So whoever this Queen of Swords here, they're probably confused. Um, this is, could be an air sign, female, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, this can be your energy confused about a foundation, confused about a decision that you need to make about a relationship, confused even about cutting a situation off. But for some of you guys, there's no more confusion. You see clearly where you want to be. You see clearly where the sun shines. There's clarity here. Um, you could have made the decision to, you could have made a decision to choose love within the situation. There's no more procrastination, no more um, temporary things. You still may be a little confused as to how to get there, but you've made the decision and you are very clear about what makes you happy. So let's see why this moon card is here. Why is this moon card here? This seven of wands, this is a lot of resistance due to fear. Yeah, seven of wands, eight of swords. You're resisting moving forward because in your head, you're really afraid of... Now, hold on. I'm going to read in the dark. Sorry, guys. My little candles have been... Uh, I bought some candles from... I'm going to have to buy some real candles because I bought some candles from the dollar store. I swear they last like... Not even an hour. And those little tea candles, I can buy those and those will last all fucking day. One tea candle, but I buy these little candles here, and I swear to you, they go just like that. Um, 
someone does have a lot of fear and anxiety about going back to a situation or about communicating um, with the situation, there's a lot of resistance due to fear. Okay. Um, all this is fear. You got to release the fears. You got to release the anxiety. If you want something new, you got to go after it. You can't sit and be stuck in your head. You got to release these fears. A lot of fears here. The resistance is fear. So what messages do we have? God and children. This situation could have something to do with children. It says you're good at helping, counseling, and healing children now. What messages do we have for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising? Be strong. It says you're stronger than you think you are. Your strength assures a happy outcome. Choose peace above all, guys. It's time to take a leap of faith. It says take a risk. Put your heart's true desire into action. Um, go near some bodies of water so you can recharge, especially if you have been drained of your energy dealing with these situations. That's all I got, air signs. Peace, y'all.